There are basically four ways that science can deal with the supernatural. The first is to ignore it. This is not really dealing with the supernatural, but simply acting as though it doesn't exist. And most people who take this approach think that it does not exist. This assumes that claims of supernatural events are either frauds or a result of ignorance. This considers claims of supernatural events to not be worth investigating. This is the most common way that scientists deal with the supernatural. The next is to insist on naturalistic explanations. This is a common approach used by active skeptics. This approach assumes that the supernatural does not exist, and it requires forcing a naturalistic explanation on all alleged supernatural events. In fact, their ultimate explanation is that supernatural events are an artifact of the brain, that is, they never actually happened. The next approach is to isolate it from science. This approach sees the supernatural has beyond the reach of science. It suggests that science can detect, but not describe supernatural events. The supernatural basically becomes a black hole. The final way is to integrate it into science. This approach sees the supernatural has just another part of reality. It sees it as having real processes that can be scientifically studied. It sees the supernatural as an area of legitimate scientific study. So what is the supernatural? Well, no official scientific definition exists. This is because the scientific establishment wants nothing to do with it. It is assumed to have no part of science, and it is often equated with superstition. The problem is the devotion of the scientific establishment to naturalism. This prevents any consideration of a supernatural explanation, and it forces them to invent totally naturalistic explanations for any alleged supernatural event, including denying that it really happened. This is more than just seeing the supernatural as outside the realm of science. It is a total denial of the existence of the supernatural and trying to explain it away. The simple fact is that a supernatural explanation is not even open for consideration. You see, if the supernatural really does exist, forcing naturalistic explanations on it produces false explanations. As a result, this is not a search for truth, but forcing a philosophical assumption on reality. Now it is recognized that some purported supernatural events are misunderstood natural events or hoaxes, but that does not mean that they all are. Now a reasonable degree of skepticism is still required, but it needs to be tempered with open-mindedness. A better solution is a scientific definition of the supernatural that allows modeling. So the best definition of supernatural is any event that is caused or influenced from outside our universe. This provides a theoretical basis for scientific study of the supernatural, and it provides a basis for modeling supernatural events. Based on this definition, the supernatural is seen as evidence that we are part of a larger reality. This means that the supernatural involves real processes with rules that govern them. So, can the supernatural be studied scientifically? Well, if supernatural events are real, then they are causing effects in our universe. These effects can be studied and used to form and test hypotheses. If studied properly, it would be no harder than studying other uncontrollable events. The real problem is that since mainstream science has ignored the supernatural, what research is done is inadequate and it is underfunding. Furthermore, there is little theoretical basis for research. As a result, it is underfunded and lacks objectivity. Some are just trying to prove it, while others try to debunk it at all costs. And both sides usually find evidence to support their side. As a result, little if any of this research is even an attempt at an objective study. A real scientific study of the supernatural would study purported supernatural events as objectively as possible. This would include the possibility of actual supernatural events. It would also seek to develop and test hypotheses about the events. Scientifically studying the supernatural is difficult, but not impossible.